Here's how I can make this a retro text effect here in Illustrator. First, let's go and select the type tool, type in something. And let's go to the characters and I'm going to search for the August. Now, this is a pretty fancy font. For example, I can double click on it and select the letter T. And check this out here, we got some glipses going on. I can select one of those and it's gonna change it. For example, I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna try it out with the letter R as well. And check this out, we got three glipses that are looking pretty good. I'm gonna try this actually. Also, I'm gonna increase the size of the text and it's gonna be somewhere around 450 by 280. Now let's go to the appearance. If you don't have it, you can go here to the windows and select the appearance. And we're going to go here to the appearance, click on the fill. So this is going to add a fill in the stroke. And I'm going to go to the fill, change up the color to white. And what I'm going to do is drag the fill to the plus. So it's going to duplicate it. And I'm going to select the second fill and change up the color. This is going to be black. And let's go to the effects, go to path and select offset path. Here I'm going to offset it with 10. You also can go to join select around and click OK. Now let's go and drag the fill to the plus. So this way we're going to duplicate it. Let's go and select the third fill and we're going to change up the color. For example, this is going to be blue. And then here we're also going to change up the offset path and increase it. I'm going to go with 14. Click OK. Go to this sort and transform, select transform. And here I'm going to go to the move horizontal and I'm going to add minus 0 0.1, vertical 0 0.1. And I'm going to add quite a bit of copies. I'm going to go all the way up to 80. So this is going to create that extrusion effect. Click OK. Now from here, all you need to do is just duplicate this blue fill, drag it to the plus. Let's go to the second fill, change up the color. For example, I'm going to select the red. Let's go to the transform, click on it. And we're going to change up the colors. And I'm going to increase this to 180, for example. Actually, it's going to be on 200. Click OK, drag this fill again to the plus. So we're going to duplicate the red, change up the color, for example, orange. Let's go back to transform and I'm going to go to the copies and here I'm going to add 310. Click OK, duplicate it again, scroll down, change up the colors, make it lighter and repeat these steps. Go to transform and I'm going to add 110 more. So it's going to be 420. Click OK and then you can repeat the steps a couple of more times until you're going to get satisfied with it. So pretty much that's how you make this a really cool retro text effect here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.